Hello, Geminis. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Selavi Tarot here. All right, so let's see what's taking place with your energy. Um, what's going on in love, right? In your in your space. What's going on with you and your person? All right. And before we start, of course, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, all of my information is below, where we could look deeply one on one with how your person's feeling, what their intentions are, and things of that nature. Okay. So of course, like share subscribe all that goodness and follow me on instagram we have patience at the bottom of the deck being very patient i feel like somebody here is holding back from saying something right and being patient with what i want to say i really want to say something but i'm not going to say anything right now because i just feel like it's best to be quiet i feel like someone here is being very quiet okay possibly putting a plan together i feel Gemini's, please. Thank you. So I'm thinking of you, okay? Strong energy of... I feel like both of you guys are in this energy, actually. I'm thinking of you, okay? And you know exactly who this person is. I'm thinking about a new beginning. I'm thinking about where this can go. Like, you're constantly on my mind, okay? Whether they're good thoughts or bad thoughts, right? But I feel like more so someone's wondering or inquiring if there's going to be some sort of a new beginning or some sort of direction at some point. Like what happens here? A positive direction, I should say. Right? Where do we go from here? What happens here? Okay? What happens with this situation? Okay? A lot of you guys, I will say one thing I'm getting is as you're thinking about this person, there's an energy of someone here trying to also start a new beginning with you that you're possibly not really focused on. Okay? Like I, I have these uh, people that are interested in me, but I have someone here on my mind. All right? There's something going on in my mind. I'm thinking of us. Okay, and we have phone call here. So I feel like someone sits around and just stare at their phone going through text messages and things like that, wondering when this person's going to possibly reach out, right? Or if this person is, you know, watching me or if this person's liking, but I'm on my phone. And as I'm on my phone, I'm thinking about you here. Someone here is also missing the passion. I will say they're missing the um, connection that you guys had at some point. What else do we have moving forward into the future? There's a lot about communication. Communication could be a problem right now. So we have ghosted again. I feel like you guys got this at some point. Strong energy of feeling ghosted. Okay. Which is what is taking place at this moment here. And again, we have patience. So it's, it's more so like, do I, should I let this go? Or should I just have patience? I don't have a choice, right? There's no choice here. So I feel like someone here is actually being very patient with uh, this energy here that possibly has um, stepped away or withdrawn to some extent. So we have unfaithful energy here. So this is someone here that possibly has been unfaithful with this connection, right? Unfaithful with uh, their words, their actions, possibly found out a secret about this person. But the main thing that I'm getting with this energy is that this person's not really giving. This person's not really giving, okay? It's like I'm dealing with someone that's not really attempting or trying or doing anything. And yes, a ghost, right? It's like this person acts as if this is not something that they want here, okay? Interestingly enough, though, we have soulmate energy here coming in. And this is what I was feeling in the beginning. It's like both of us think about each other, but when it comes to communicating, we're not doing that effectively. We're not effectively communicating, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, and I keep getting this, there's this energy of someone new trying to come in or someone trying to come in here. Like I'm feeling the energy of someone trying to come in and trying to get your attention, but it's like I can't get Gemini's attention here. Okay, whether this is a past person, take it how it resonates. But someone here really wants you to reach out, right? Reach out and say something. Reach out and show me that you care, okay? Reach out that. Reach out and possibly show me that, um, you know, this wasn't for nothing, more so. And I feel like you both want this, all right? Although there is an energy of someone feeling a bit exhausted, Okay, exhausted with trying to get things off the ground or just keeping things consistent. But still, it's like someone here still wants that energy of, I still would like to hear what you have to say positive, 
okay i still would like you to reach out here some of you guys you reached out to this person and they didn't reply or you think that they're not going to say something to you here you have a lot of history with this person okay there's a lot of history and a lot of pain okay someone from the past here wanting to reach out again someone that ghosted and i feel like this person has been hurt before or they hide a lot of their pain gemini Okay, whether this is you or them, I feel like someone here is trying to cover their pain or I feel like they have a lot of internal anger to some extent, all right, and they just don't know how to express it. And I think it's from things from the past, obviously, but again, it's like this person is not really saying anything to you here. So we have at the bottom of the deck again, insomnia, okay? Highly thinking about this. I wish somebody would just say something here because there's so much energy of can we talk this out? Can we work on this soul mate connection? Right? Whether it was positive or negative, we're connected for some reason. And whatever the reason is, um, I think it's enough for us to have a conversation, right? Someone here feels like, you know, I'm I'm feeling abandoned or I'm feeling like this person completely is just disregarding my emotions. Okay. But again, we have insomnia, all right? And again, some of you guys sleep very well, but I just feel like someone here is constantly thinking, thinking if we are ever going to speak again or if things are ever going to be the same again, all right? Because there's this energy of, you know, I didn't mean to, you know, say those things or I didn't mean to act in that energy. Someone here knows that you're hurt. Okay, this person knows that, you know, that they've hurt you, that they're possibly not um, contributing to this relationship as, as they should or as much as they should here. Or in the past, there was something that happened that really severed this relationship. And I feel like someone here doesn't know what to say. And they're, you know, buying time right now. Okay, interesting energy. And this person really, they just sit back and they just wait. Like, when is the right time for me to say something, right? When is the right time for me to express myself here? So we're going to look deeper and we're going to see what else is going on with this energy. Okay. A lot of you guys, again, you found out something about this person and there's a small part of you that's asking yourself, like, am I able to trust this person? Okay. During my thinking um, moments and sessions, can I trust this person again? Can I trust them to be loyal? Right. Or is this person going to just disappear when things get hard? Yeah. So someone feels like there's still hope here. There's still hope, but again, there's a lot of pain that needs to be healed. Okay? There's still hope in this in this situation. All right, so let's get a vibe here. All right, overall vibe here for this energy. Strong connection, guys. Very, very strong connection, but there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of blockages here. Okay? Moving towards um I feel like end of September I'm getting or even October there's just this energy of someone here starting to miss you okay really starting to miss you and really starting to um, realize here that they neglected you okay and also I feel like there's someone in this energy that feels like possibly in the past they allowed someone here to really just say what they want to them here and I feel like this person may be thinking about it because I'm getting an energy of regret coming in okay regretting how I lied to you, regretting how I never communicated. Okay. Thank you. So please show me the vibe for this connection for my Gemini's, please. Someone's blocked here. I'm getting. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys have been even dreaming of this person, been having dreams, right? Or this could be your person. I'm having dreams here. Having dreams of this energy. This person's moving very slow, okay? I do get an energy of someone here very confused in terms of what is going to make me happy. Should I go back to this? Should I... What's next? And if I do decide to release this, what's next here? Okay, an energy of my thoughts are overwhelmed, right? It's like even when I'm trying to sleep, I'm just overwhelmed with thoughts here, okay? Because I feel like at some point here you guys just had a lot of faith that this person would definitely work this out but they were moving very slow and i feel like this person was just juggling a lot of things okay it doesn't have to be people but there was just a lot of juggling going on okay yeah and again you know someone here feels very very abandoned like i'm left out here 
by this person, okay? That's how uh, you guys may be feeling at this time, okay? Someone here may be having some financial issues with their home, all right, or having a situation with their home or wanting to move out of their home. There's a lot of conflict in the home, all right, or I want to move out of the place that I'm in, okay? Show me how Geminis are feeling at this time. Let's see how my Geminis are feeling and then we could clarify this. How are my Geminis feeling at this time? Yeah. Geminis, please, what is Geminis feeling? Feelings about this connection. Geminis. Thank you. Roaming wild. Yeah, you guys are ready to take a risk here. Take a leap of faith into a new direction. I'm getting. You guys are wanting to go after your dreams. Okay? There's something about this connection. It's like as much as I love this person, I think it's best for me to, um, you know, take a leap of faith here. Set myself free from this. All right? And even if I, you know, pull away for a while and have to make a decision for myself, yes, I always love this person, but I won't be a prisoner in my mind any longer for someone that doesn't want to um, express themselves. I feel like that may have been the biggest obstacle. Okay? Hoping and wishing that this person would reach out, right? Would, would you know, be there for me when I need them or stand with me when I need them or actually try to contribute to communicating and growing here. It's like I'm going to um, minimize my expectations when it comes to this connection and allow things to just flow, right? Allow life to flow and allowing the universe to bring this energy or the energy of love when I'm truly ready for it here. Okay, yeah. Someone here is exhausted. It's like I'm tired. I'm really, really tired of trying to prove to this person that we are soulmates. It's been a long journey. Okay? I'm a bit depleted here. But, you know, some of you guys may still be in this energy of, although I'm tired, right? I'm hoping for this person to possibly at least reach out, right? I have hope that we could possibly work on it or work on this connection because I don't see you guys really losing faith here but it's just the energy of releasing expectations all right I feel like that's just the biggest thing here because in this energy of hoping and expecting and waiting it becomes very exhausting to the soul to the mind you know it, it's like I can't think of anything else but if this person wants to reach out here Okay, I feel like this person also may have um, this energy of constantly hiding their emotions from the world, not really expressing their emotions here. Okay, really not expressing their emotions. What happened to this person? What's going on? Sorry, guys, I just need to see what's happening with this person's energy. What's going on with this person? Thank you. Letting go. Okay, in time, your person possibly was dealing with something that happened to them here in the past. Okay, whether it was a relationship or something that was possibly traumatic to them, whatever it may be. I feel like this person has had an issue with letting something go. An emotion, a feeling of being neglected or abandoned or hurt here and I feel like this person's in this energy of possibly stepping into a cycle constantly here okay I feel like someone here is truly you know battling with something that they're trying to release and again this may be you guys right whoever the viewers are but someone here is like I'm going to get through this in time okay that's one of the obstacles here with this energy of you know <clears throat> this energy of all of this pain here there's a lot of pain and I feel like someone here is really, really dedicated on letting this pain go, letting this energy go. And of course, it doesn't have to be the person per se, but more so just all of these memories and pain, right? All of these disappointments, anger, arguments, harsh words, right? That has been a cycle in the past. It's like I released it and then went back into it. I released it and went back into it. There's a cycle that's being broken for you here, Gemini, as well. Okay? Where there's something here that happened where you were possibly abandoned or felt like you 
weren't loved in a situation, okay? Something took place here. And I feel like you're trying to let this go, whether it's subconscious or, you know, conscious. It's just something that is bringing you into these cycles of I'm always feeling ghosted, okay? So let's dig a little deeper here, guys, and see what the messages are. Yeah, a lot of you guys are trying to get over something. Get this energy of I'm trying to get over that, okay? Wow. So beautiful new beginning here. Someone here took a leap of faith into, again, a new relationship that had a lot of layers of love, right? Even the conversations, the connection, okay? It was a new beginning for some of you guys, but it was something here where this person would think negative. Someone here, it's like they constantly confuse themselves by overthinking, okay? I feel like this is your person. They get very overwhelmed, right? They have a lot of options. They're unsure of what they want here, okay? And it takes them a while to make a decision. Although at some point this person wanted you here, okay? Energy of deception that comes in, okay? Where this person was possibly juggling or this person was probably juggling lies. Doesn't have to be other people, but juggling things that, you know, didn't make any sense. <laughs> so this is someone here again. It's like they someone needed to heal here. Someone needed to heal, but they lied to themselves and they just said, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. But then got into a relationship and became very guarded. Okay. What do we have in this present moment here for our soulmate? Okay. I love you, but I'm tired. I'm hearing. Yeah, there's like this grieving energy. It's like, you know, as much as I want to constantly work on this there's this energy of me being a bit exhausted okay someone feeling this energy of grief here it's like i'm trying to get this person to see what's going on here right but this person possibly let me down for some of you guys you thought you know there would be some sort of positive or healthy reconciliation at some point but it really just took a shift honestly okay where this person decided to go in, you know, hermit mode or go MIA for a lot of you guys. Okay. Give me more, please, with this energy phone call. What is this person wanting to say to the Gemini? Yeah. This person knows that you're giving up. I feel like this person knows that you're giving up, Gemini. Um, you know, and I feel like this person understands that, like... You know, I can't blame this person for walking away. I feel like this person knows, like if you were to walk away, this person knows exactly why you would walk away, right? There was this energy of, okay, and that's my cue here, okay? And I see you guys stepping into the queen of, you know, queen of cups. So that means I am literally going to walk into a place where I'm going to fill in all these voids, all right? Healing, love. I'm going to definitely just sit in this place of loving myself. Scorpio energy as well. Okay, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo with the wands here. Okay, so again, there's like a decision that someone here needs to make currently. Do I choose me or do I, do I wait? Do I have more patience with this? Okay, some of you guys may be traveling. Or there's travel energy here. What do I do? So a lot of you guys aren't sure what to do. It's like I'm not too sure what to do because I'm trying to figure out how this person feels or I'm trying to figure out my feelings or I don't want to make a decision and regret it in the, you know, in the future where there was possibly still a chance here, okay? So I feel like you guys are in this place. It's like I'm trying to get towards this energy of happiness, clarity, okay? Pisces energy, Leo. But I don't know how. So I feel like someone here is trying to um, possibly move into a positive place, okay? Whether it's together or alone, but how do I do it, okay? How do I do it? So there's a big energy of how do I get to this place of happiness here, okay? A lot of you guys are also going to start setting some boundaries. There's a boundary energy here, strongly. It's like I'm going to... I'm going to make a decision and I'm going to stand by it because in the past, possibly I didn't stand by my decisions here. Okay. I feel like someone here is being very stubborn. Okay. It's like 
very, very stubborn in terms of, you know, even expressing themselves and being honest about their emotions. And I feel like that could be the struggle. But again, you know, like I said, there's someone here that feels like they're unable to express some sort of truth here. Okay. It's like, how do I, how do I talk about that? Okay. So what could my Gemini's expect moving forward? Okay. Some of you guys also feel like this person's secretive, like there's more secrets. Okay, expect moving forward, please. Wow, healing energy, beautiful energy. You don't even need to go any deeper. Healing energy to the greatest extent. A lot of you guys, again, it's like I'm going to really balance this energy out here. Okay, temperance. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush into making any new decisions. All right. Even if this person reaches out. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to be in this place. Sagittarius energy. You guys are going to stand by your commitment of healing. I have to heal. Like I have to do that. Even if this person came to the door with, you know, a proposal on one knee or, you know, vice versa. I feel like you're... Um, your healing is, is a priority for you now, okay? In the past, it was this, I'm not too sure. I'm, I don't know what this person thinks. I don't know what to do. This person has secrets. But now I feel like you're shifting um, and now focusing on yourself, giving yourself time, being patient with yourself, removing yourself out of cycles, okay? Cycles that are continuously leaving you in a dark place, right? They're saying reach out, reach out. I don't know if you guys pray. I don't know, you know. Everybody has different beliefs, but reach out, okay? However you guys connect, meditate, connect to the divine, connect to God, you know, definitely reach out because I feel like there's this energy of just put it out there and we'll answer. Put it out there and your prayers will be answered is what I'm getting for a lot of you guys, okay? So let's get a message for you guys. Let's get a message. But yeah, they're saying reach out if that makes sense to you reach out okay what do we have for my gemini's please gemini's wow in the past we were all tied up right we didn't we didn't know what to do i was caught in the middle here whether again this is you or your person but i feel like you guys are moving towards peace okay it says there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully okay and that's what we got again with the time right giving yourself time all right and also we have uh thinking woman thinking man okay take it how it resonates but an energy with the sun here okay and this energy signifies growth i'm thinking of how to move towards happiness with my person with a person with my family with my friends with myself I want to grow. I want to uh, move towards things that make me happy. My career, my um, spirituality, anything, anything that makes you happy. It's like I feel like you guys have more time to think now, right? But just think positive and have faith, though, in this time of thinking. Try not to think too negative, right? You know, every experience happens for a reason. So, you know, clarity comes in. The truth comes out. You guys find out the truth about yourself or this person. Or you find out that this person actually wants to work on things, okay? Someone comes here wanting to work on something, okay? Asking for um, time or you're asking for this person to give you some time. I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing one, guys. I love you. And again, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, all of my info is below. Okay.